the four verse one. Uh huh. This is the book of the commandments of God. That's what this book is. This book right here is full of laws that we gotta follow. You know what I'm saying? You got a job. You gotta follow the rules at your job in order to get paid, right? What happens if you break the rules at your job? You get fired. Now, that fired is you get let go from that job. If you don't follow God rules, guess what? You get fired too. But that fire for real fire. You know what I'm saying? That fire real. You know that all of the other countries, like the countries that's in Europe, the countries that's in Africa, China and all of that, you know they're gonna attack this place, right? You probably don't know. They're gonna attack this place. They're gonna attack this place with nuclear bombs. You wanna walk out of that? You don't? You wanna stay here while it's on fire? Yeah, but guess what though? There's only one way you can get like that. You see what I'm saying? But you gotta be keeping the commandments. You hear that on? You gotta keep God's commandments, bro. Read. This is the book of the commandments of God. And the law that endures forever. Read. All they that keep it. All they that keep God's laws. Shall come to life. You gonna get eternal life. Meaning, Maul, you ain't gonna never die. Free. But such as leave it. If you don't do what God said. Shall die. By fire. You gonna die if you don't believe what God said. You know what I'm saying? And it's not hard. It's not. It's real easy. Like, let me ask you something. What today is? You know what today is? Today's Saturday. You know what Saturday is in the Bible? It's the seventh day of the week. What you think is special about that? You don't know? Let me show you. Give me that in Exodus chapter 20. Read. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Watch. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Now, you wonder why he said remember the Sabbath day? Because we forgot it. Like at one point, Ma, way back in the G, you knew what the Sabbath day was. Right. But coming back over and over, dealing with all of these people that have taught us wrong, taught us lies, they changed all of that. It says Saturday, not the Sabbath. That's not the holy day. What day everybody go to church? Sunday. Who said that? Sunday, the first day. You know what I'm saying? Sunday is the first day. Ain't nobody told him to go to church on Sunday. That's right. He was always supposed to congregate on Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Read. Six days shall thy labor. So you got six days to do your business. Read. And do all thy work. But the seventh day is the seventh of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shalt not do any work. So guess what, Mo? If I got a business and you got a business, and it's the Sabbath day, is our business open? No, it's not open. So if our business is not open and our business is closed, can we buy anything? That's one of the rules of the Sabbath. That's why I tell him, oh, when he pay, you gotta, you gotta keep the commandments. Because you're not supposed to be buying today. You know what I'm saying? Imagine this, Ma. What you think would happen if all these black people didn't buy today? What would happen to all these businesses? They'll have to shut down. But see, we got power. You know what I'm saying? We just don't know how to use it. Watch this. Give me uh, Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 Then he answered and spake unto me Saying This is the word of the Lord Unto Zerubbabel We got a order Watch this, watch this Look, it said This is what God said to Zerubbabel Which is one of your forefathers Read Not by might Not by might Meaning Ain't no guns gonna fix our community if you look, the, the guns made our community worse. Because we use them on each other. You know what I'm saying? Black people raised by single mothers, raised by weak fathers, they raising all of these young men to shoot everybody. 
Why? Because they're emotional. Conflict resolution, they don't know what to do. If you got a problem with me, Maul, and I got a problem with you, you know what we're supposed to do? Talk about it. Teach. Talk about it. So he said, not by what? Not by might. Not by might, meaning your, your strength ain't going to do it. Nor by power. No power that you have is going to do it. But by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. But by God's spirit. God's spirit is one of them things keeping the Sabbath day holy. Not following none of these false holidays. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. Go to Matthew 18. Because you said something. You said if we got problems, we're supposed to do what? Talk about it. You know the Bible says the same thing? The Bible gives instruction on how we're supposed to solve issues with each other. But they don't teach this in church. You know what I'm saying? They don't teach that in church. You want to know what they teach? Give me tithe money. Come on, give me your money. It's almost your season. They've been people season for 50 damn years. Bring it out. And they Bring still it out. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? All they got to do is repent keep the commandments. But a lot of people, they don't want to do it because they're not comfortable doing it. They want to do what they feel like doing. That's right. You know what I'm saying? One of the one of the biggest things our people like to say is, I'm grown. Is that what they like to say? Only a child thinks like that. You Matthew 18. 15. Matthew chapter 18, verse 15. Read. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, if your brother shall trespass against you, meaning one of the laws in the Bible, he broke it. You know what I'm saying? To you, read. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. Read again. Go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. No, with other people. Between thee and him alone. Maul come to Matthew. Matthew go to Maul and we talk this thing out. You want to know why? Read. And he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. That's what the point is. To gain your brother. It may have started off me and you, Maul, might have been on the wrong foot. But we solved our issue, we talked it out, now guess what? Me and you cool now. Now we could build. Now we could do things that the black community fears, which is coming together. That's right. You know what I'm saying? How, 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 how beneficial would that be? You know what I'm saying? Look at how much that'll, that'll stop. Your brother just talk it out. Because a lot of stuff that, that we be fighting and killing each other over, it be misunderstandings. Hey, and some of it even be mistaken identity. How many people you done heard that got shot and it wasn't the right person? Who cool people, huh? But if you just stop and you like, man, that's like that dude right there, you got out. Oh, oh man, that ain't even him. Could have saved the life. You know what I'm saying? This is where we gotta come as black men. As black men, we got to start revealing what the issue is. And just like that man you saw earlier, a lot of them, they don't want to do it. Because they got what they want. They got what they need. Give me that in, uh, second address about them to receive benefits. Second address, chapter 9, verse 9. Bring it out! Then shall they be in pitiful case. But you know what a lot of our people going to be in? Pitiful case. You ever see somebody that's in pitiful case? You know what that mean? That mean... You tell somebody, Ma, hey, bro, don't go around there, man. You might get messed up, right? And they be like, man, you don't know what you're talking about, bro. And they go around there, and they get messed up, right? And you see them all beat up, bruised, or whatever, and you go walk past them, what you going to do? You ain't going to do nothing. You're going to be looking at them like, see, I told you. That's called being in pitiful case. When you walk past somebody that you tried to warn, Hey, don't do that. Something bad gonna happen. And they do it anyway. If something bad happen, you look at them like, see, I done told you. That's pitiful case, read. Which now have abused my ways. They abuse God's ways. You know what I'm saying? That's why black women were blind in their hell. Do that make sense? It don't make no sense. They got their best hair in the world, and they will put a white woman wig hair on their head. Bring it out. That don't make no sense. Walk around looking like black and miles. Three, and they that have cast them away despitefully uh -huh. shall dwell in torment. You want to dwell in torment, meaning you want to die. There's death waiting for our people, and we live in the murder capital. Why are people playing with God? 
While we're praying with God, we live in an area where death is everywhere. Read. But such as in their life have received benefits. They got people that receive benefits. You know what their benefits is? They got a nice job. They got a nice car. You know what I'm saying? They got the house. They got money in their pocket. They got some people that got good success in dealing drugs. You know what I'm saying? They hustlers. They scammers. And they got money. They receive benefits, read. And have not known me. And they don't know God. Just because they got stuff don't mean they blessed. Because right. the devil give blessings too. Right. Yeah, the devil will give you whatever you want, as long as you don't follow God. That's why people with a lot of things, a lot of stuff, they be like, I don't need that Bible. Get that Bible out of my face. I don't need to be doing that. You need to be worried about you. I'm good. I'm straight. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Read. And they that have loathed my law. They loathe God, meaning they hate God's laws. Read. While they had yet liberty. They got liberty, meaning they got a chance, just like you, to come stand here and learn. They got the opportunity to do that. But how many people you see doing it? Just you. And guess what? Maybe all you is the one that we need. Read. And when that yet place of repentance was opened unto them. Because guess what, Ma? Right now, they can repent all of the stuff that they're doing. They're breaking God's laws right now. Buying on the Sabbath. Some of them eat pork. You eat pork? You eat, you eat, you eat uh, crawfish? You know you're not supposed to eat that though, right? Why? I'm going to show you that. See, that's a good question. Read. Understood not, but despised it. They despise God's word. We'll tell people, hey, bro, you're not supposed to eat pork. Oh, hell no, I'm going to eat my pork. I, I was raised on that. You know what I'm saying? That's what they say. Am I lying? Read. The same must know it after death by pain. He said the same must know it after death by pain. Meaning you're going to feel pain after you die. Ain't that some scary stuff? Like after you die, you still going to feel pain? I ain't trying to feel that. I ain't trying to feel that. Give me See, child. Leviticus stuff. Chapter 11, verse 9. Bring it out. These shall you eat of all that are in the water. So God give you a list of rules on what to eat and what not to eat. Right. You know what I'm saying? You ever heard of high blood pressure? Gout? Diabetes and all of these different things? It comes from what people eat. Like a lot of these people, when they go to the doctor when they get older, and they got blood pressure problems and all of that, you know what the doctor tell them? Stop eating shellfish. Stop eating pork. See? If it was good for them, why is destroying their body over time? Right. You know what I'm saying? So it read again. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. Uh -huh. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. It said, whatever got fins and scales. Do crawfish got fins and scales? They got claws and they got a shell. Right. You're not supposed to eat crawfish. What right. about shrimp? Shrimp. shrimp got a shell just like a crawfish. Yeah, what about crabs? They got a shell. What about oysters? Shit. A shell. You know what I'm saying? But what about trout? Ooh, that's a really good right <laughs> What about trout, though? Uh, crawfish. Yeah. Fins and scales. You can eat that. What about redfish? You can eat that. What about tuna? You can eat that. What about black drum? You can eat that. Perch, whiting, sheep head, alligator gum. You got all these different fish that you can eat. Why would you want to lower yourself to eating roaches? Would you eat a roach? But, but look, no. And look, I'm from uptown, so I was raised on this too. But guess what? You already ate a roach. A crawfish is a roach. Bring it out! It just lives in the ocean. Teach! That's the only difference. The only difference is a roach will come in your house. A crawfish goes in the ground. That's it. That's the only thing. But a crawfish and a roach is the same thing. When you look at them, matter of fact, look at a picture. Hey, pull up a picture of a crawfish and a roach. We're going to show you how similar they look. What about a spider? Would you eat a spider? Yeah, but guess what? You already ate a spider. A crab. 
That's a spider in the water. Like, look, when you crack the crab open and you got that yellow stuff inside, what that is? No. Eggs got yolk. That's doo-doo. That's they doo-doo. So you sit there licking your fingers and you got crab doo-doo all on your fingers and you licking it off. Sticking your hand up here to get that little bit of that white meat. And do you even get full off a of crab? Hell no, you just eating it. Why? Why do we eat crawfish and crab and we don't even get full? You gotta get 40 pounds of crawfish in order to get full. And you gotta have two big ass big liters of cold drink in order to wash it down because it's so hot. You know what I'm saying? Look at how they do us though. Read up verse 7. Verse 7. And the swine, don't he divide the hook? A swine is a pig. Read. And be cloven footed, yet he chewed not the cud. He is unclean to you. Pork is unclean. Crawfish is unclean. Shrimp is unclean. Crab is unclean. Right. All that stuff is unclean. Right. Bring it out. Picture. Yeah, the picture of the, the, the uh, yeah, there you go. Now come see Mo. What's the difference? Damn, right? <laughs> That's crazy, ain't it? One live in the water, one live on the land. That's the only difference. That's right. But they got the same thing, the same anatomy, the same everything. You saw the two antennas, they got all of that. You know what I'm saying? A dog won't even eat a roach. A cat won't even eat a roach. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know today God's Sabbath day, right? You know, you know you're not supposed to buy on the Lord's Sabbath day, right? You're not. Ah, wanna hear that? Don Z got an excuse or not? You got an excuse? Yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to buy. <laughs> You're not supposed to buy on the Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you know we constantly God. looking, we constantly looking at, at other people like, yeah, that, that's the one that needed him over there. He the one needed. No, we all need this. Right. Everybody need this. You know what I'm saying? What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.